Hey everyone, it's Nicole again, and today I'm coming at you with another wig review. Today, the wig I'm going to be reviewing is from the Ever Company or Evertress, um, and this is from the Chocolate Collection. It is a lace front wig that is called Lace Choco 4. Um, there's no picture, but here's the box. Came a nice regular old box. Um, and it is Kanekalon and Toyokalon fiber. Um, according to the little insert that came with the wig, it is heat safe. Um, it says it can only be curled at 175 or a lower heat. So I guess only up to 175 is what you can curl her at. Um, it has your regular um, care instructions and everything like that. And it says to maintain a fresh look, lightly apply oil sheen or a wig conditioner. Um, but I'm sure that, you know, you have a product that you'd like to use or whatever. I'm, I've never seen one where it says use a light oil sheen or whatever on a synthetic wig. But hey, maybe it can take it. Um, here is the wig. It's very, very flowy, lots of body, um, very loose bumps or curls here at the um, end. It is in layers, and it does look like relaxed hair. Um, it has the regular old lace front wig cap. Um, there is the lace, I've already cut it, that you have available for parting. And I'll show you that once I apply her. Um, she has the standard mesh little uh, cap. Her combs that are in the front seem to be positioned right here on the sides um, in the right place. Um, not right up here at, you know, right above the temple or whatever. Um, and that's a good thing. I kind of like when wigs do that. It also has... Um, the adjustable straps in the back along with the comb in the back so you can adjust the tightness as much as you want she does have baby hairs according to the package so once I put it on we'll see what they look like and let's see what it says at the bottom um, New and improved comfort and secure fitting cap. Um, lace front invisibly blends into your skin. A natural hairline created with baby hair inserts. Uh, lace front can be covered with makeup. So, nice. We'll see once we put her on. And let's see. I picked her up at... Uh, a new beauty supply that opened in my area and it was huge it's like almost like a big warehouse um, and they had a lot of these um, chocolate wigs I know chocolate is like a big thing now um, so this is my first time trying that brand or that collection um, but they had a lot of nice stuff and I picked her up very cheaply um, Considering it's a lace front wig, usually they're a little more expensive, but this one was $40 or $39.99, and I got 20% off. So, I was excited about that. But anyway, let me get her on. Okay. And it does not have the side tabs that you would normally get on some of the wigs, which I kind of miss, but... We'll see how it works. Okay. Get it adjusted good. I will say this cap's kind of tiny um, compared to other wigs that I've tried. It's a little small, but we'll see if we can make it work. Okay. I love the texture of the hair. It's very soft and very flowy. Okay, let's see, we get her adjusted on my hairline. Right on the hairline. Okay. It looks like I should have flat ironed my edges because I am letting my uh, relaxer grow out. But we might be able to make it work. Because as you know, my hair grows out right here in the temple area. So, it's coming out a little farther than the regular hairline. 
And let me get my other mirror so I can see. I want to make sure you guys can still see. Let's see. Make sure she is on correctly. There. I think that did it. So, now let me get the comb adjusted in the back. And the combs are right here on the side, so I'm liking that. And let me actually push my wig cap back just a little bit so I can get those in on the sides. Okay. And the other side. I was really excited about this wig when I saw her because I like the the style of it and I wanted something straight because I've been buying um, a lot of textured wigs or you know curly wigs so this is a good one for me and it has just the right amount of um, volume it's not just a flat straight wig so we're gonna try to get her all situated here okay and I'm kind of worried about my edges I'm gonna have to smooth those out but anyway let me get my wide tooth comb and kind of comb through her. Again, she is very soft. Very, very soft. And I love that. Okay. Oops. The hairs are sticking to my lip gloss. <laughs> okay. Now, let's look at the hairline. Let's see if I can zoom in so you can see the hairline. A little bit more. Okay, there is the hairline. And I probably can pull it back just a little bit more. Let's see, yeah, there we go. But it has a very nice hairline. With my rough edges thrown in for good measure and again though the cap is a little small but um, if you have a smaller head I mean I probably have a big fat watermelon head but <laughs> it might work for someone someone with a smaller head but it is a little tiny for me but I can live with it it's not bad so let's see about the parting Let's see. Oops. Um. There. Uh, you have, what is that? Probably about an inch or just a little bit less of parting here in the center. Let's see about on the sides. If you like to part on the sides, um, probably about the same amount um, on the sides. Try the other one. Make sure. Yep, pretty much the same thing. So you have um, a little bit of room to work with if you don't like a center part, which I don't. Or you could just wear it without a part which is another option available. So, now, she is probably about 18 inches. So let me kind of stand up and give you an idea. Comes to about right there. So, yeah, she's about 18 inches. And let me let you see the back. So, very nice. There is a little bit of shedding, um, but a, not, a, not a whole lot. Um, sometimes when you first style them and get them out of the package, you get a little bit of hair, but not too bad. That's to be expected at this price point. So, let's see how I'm going to work with her today. Um... First thing I need to do is take my designer's touch, which I love. 
it's not too heavy and it does a good job at smoothing my edges so what I'm gonna do is pull the sides out because the cap is a little small on me and then I'm gonna smooth those out and like I said I probably should have flat ironed a little bit but we're gonna make it work today Make sure I get enough out on the sides. Take a little bit of designer's touch. Put it on my fingers and then I'm gonna smooth it on the edges. And give it a good brush. I love this stuff. This works really, really well. A little more over here on this side. Okay, and let's see, where's my brush? Never where I need it when I want it. Okay. And y'all, next time, I gotta remind myself not to put on any lip gloss because his hair keeps sticking to it <laughs> while I'm doing this video. Okay, other side. In there. Make sure I got just the right amount out. And you know, y'all, every day that I wake up, and this is sad, but it's life, I find a new gray hair. Isn't that sad? <laughs> As I was pulling out my hairs around here, I just noticed another one. But I'll chalk it up as wisdom. As the old folks say, so I'm not gonna complain too much. Put a little bit more here because that little edge is kind of like rough, rough. <laughs> okay, there. And then what I'm gonna do is take my trusty old eyebrow brush that I use for my baby hairs and brush those down. And then we're gonna check out the hairs that are supposedly on the wig so let me get mine tamed and then we'll move forward okay so i'm gonna brush um right at the edge and here let me zoom in so you can probably see that a little better okay i'm gonna take the brush and brush right at the edge of the wig and see what baby hairs are available to us. So they're nice. They're um, whoops, got too much there. It's not too much, so they're somewhat more believable than some of these others that have these really obvious, you know, baby hairs. So I'm liking that. And please ignore my edges. So, there we go. And this little eyebrow brush comes in handy when you're trying to control and um, maintain those baby hairs around the edges of your wig. So, if you have an old one, I would suggest just you know, keeping that, especially for like your hair care needs, your wig needs. So, yeah. And so what I'm gonna do is kind of blend those in with my own. Look over here in the mirror. Hopefully I won't get out of range of the camera. Not a whole lot, but it's enough, y'all. There goes my phone. Okay. There. Now let me zoom back out. There. Get my comb. 
And I think what I'm gonna do is, I might put a little part in. We'll see. Especially for my edges. I love the way the wig falls, y'all. It just falls really naturally. And it's um, a believable, um, I guess, texture. It's not really bulky and thick. So, you know, you don't look like you just have a big head full of hair. So I like that. And I think maybe I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a part just slightly from the center and let it fall like it wants to. So we'll have that natural look. Okay. So far I'm liking this wig. Like I said, the only thing I may have an issue with is the smaller cap, but otherwise it's nice and I can live with that, you know. It's secure enough to where I'm not worried about it going anywhere because of the combs, which are positioned perfectly right here, y'all. And the adjustable straps in the back. So this is good. I'm liking this, y'all. Very nice. And for me, it's a good color, even though it's a longer wig. Usually when I get longer wigs, I kind of go with a lighter color, which I did buy. I bought two of them. And I got the other one in, a, I want to say a 430. I think it was a 430. I wanted 427. They didn't have it, so yeah, it was a 430. And we'll see how that looks. So I'll do like a little follow-up when I decide to put that one on. But I kind of want to wear the dark color today because I'm feeling the darker color. And this is a 1B. So she's very pretty. I love the way she flows. Love it, love it, love it. Just enough volume, not too much, not too little to where she's just like flat. But anyway, y'all, tell me what you think. Um, she's a very nice wig again. She is from Ever or the Evertress brand and it is from the Chocolate Hair, um, hairline and it is the chocolate lace front wig in a 1b and again her name is lace choco 4 so if you want to do a little research or something online and see where she's available um, go right ahead. Uh, like I said, I picked her up at a new BSS here where I live and I'm liking it um, let's see what else I want to tell you about. Oh, the makeup that I'm wearing, and I don't know if you can actually see it. I'll zoom in again. Um, is from my NYX Nude on Nude palette, which I picked up on Amazon. I'm really liking this, y'all. I've been wanting to get it. I have been checking at some of the stores around town, Ulta, um, some of the BSSs that carry NYX and nobody had it so I had to order it offline. I did go to the NYX website but I decided to check on Amazon to see if they had it a little bit cheaper and they did. I got it for 19 I think it retails on NYX for 25 but I got it on Amazon for 19 along with some other stuff so all the shipping was combined. Um, I guess if you were to get it from NYX it'll I guess it'll all balance out. I don't know. It might be a little bit higher, but 19 versus 25. Anytime you can save a dollar, honey, I'm all for it. But I love this palette, and I'll probably try to do a video on it once I kind of get myself situated here using my new camera doing um, a makeup tutorial. I kind of got to practice because I'm new to that. I've tried to do it in the past with my old camera. It didn't turn out right. Y'all seen it. But anyway... <laughs> Very nice palette. Um, I think it's like um, someone like the Urban Decay Naked Palette. But when it comes down to spending 48 50 bucks for the Naked Palette, when I can get this for $25, i am all for it. And this one also comes with um, lip glosses here in the bottom. Just slides out. And you get a lip applicator and the eyeshadow applicator and as you can see i've used one of the um 
nude colors already. Haven't had a chance to try the others, but I am loving this palette. So I do have on, let's see which color is it. I have this gray right here, and then these two darker grays here at the top. So love it y'all so if you want to go out and pick this up as well loving it the next nude on nude palette well anyway i think that will do it for me today and until my next video i will see you then bye